this is D22 with you today from the main channel and today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to set up a traditional green screen for chroma keying certain sequences and allowing yourself to be in different backgrounds. So the most important thing that you need to set up for a green screen is that you need to have a green screen component and also proper lighting. Now I'm going to do as best as I can to show you in this video how to set up your green screen properly and how to get your lighting the way you want it. So what you need first is a green screen. Now, most of the green screens come in these conventional carry-on cases. They're usually in foldable format, or you can just get some fabric from Walmart, uh, usually a roll of it for such and such a price. So let's say if you get like a few yards of green screen, you can just hang it up on the wall, or you can also just allow the green screen to just be in a certain backdrop, and you can just get it from there. But for the best deal possible, you get a foldable green screen. Now for this green screen, it's in its own mesh case as you can see here. This basically has a bendable metal frame and it has two sides of chroma key colors. This has a blue and a green side. So I'm going to open up the bag now and we're going to show you what that looks like. Now this is and this is a little bit expensive. This is about $130 for the green screen component, but I got it at a good price so I was able to luck out of that deal, but just look it up. There's a site called tubetape.com and you can get a green screen at about that price or you can go bigger and better if you want to do more. But for basic background shots, this is the way to go. And I'll show you what it looks like here. So as you can see, this folds up and it goes into like a standard vertical shot. So we have a green screen set up right here, so then you can just go back in front here and then you can just test it out. But there's only one thing that you have to do when it comes to green screening and that's setting up your lighting. Because as you can see here, there's a shadow. And your shadows will not allow your backgrounds to key out properly. If you use Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects, then this is going to be a problem for you because you won't be able to key out everything unless you stand out like this or if you like go forward into the shot of your camera and that's how you can key out the colors but if you like stand back here your shadow is still there and then if you like go further back you'll still get this little shadow every now and then because it just depends on where the light bounces one setup that you can do is set up what's called three-point lighting and I'll show you how to do that right now for most of this to work you can use any sort of light source that seems to emanate a good enough light. So for this, I'm just using a lamp and it has a energy saver bulb. Okay, usually what we do here for the three-point lighting process is that we set up a lamp or any external lighting source to the side of your footage. So from the picture you see here, this is an example of three-point lighting. You have to make sure that there's a light on the top, to the right, and to the left. This way, you can allow for lighting to appear at all three points and that your image will be clear. So that it will allow your background to key out clearly and that you can be in an appropriate background. So I have my lamp on on the other side here. So basically this eliminates the shadows. But you notice that there's still just a little bit of shadows. Not like before, let's just turn off this lamp here for a minute. You get shadows again. But if you turn on the lamp again, that shadow the shadows are basically significantly reduced. And you can also set up the same lighting on this side here. So you have what's called three point lighting. A light up top, light to this side, and the light to this side. Once you have your lighting set up appropriately, what you do is you use your chroma keying software specifically. Now, we are going to apply a chroma key effect to our well lit production. So we will right click on our file and select video event effects. Now, your list of plugins here may not be as diverse as mine. What I usually use is the new blue V2 chroma key right here. But Sony Vegas will initially have its own chroma key software, so you double click Sony chroma key to add the plugin to your clip, then click OK. So what it will allow you to do is it will allow you to select your color. Press on the color picker button and pick an appropriate area to key out. As you'll see, it turns black when you picked out a certain color. It picks out a color according to the intensity of the video. But it doesn't look perfect, so a way to preview your finished keying is to check this box, Show Mask Only. The white details represent how well you keyed it out. 
you have to adjust the low threshold, high threshold, or the blur amount if you want a good result. So we're going to adjust the high threshold so that it turns completely white, and then the low threshold to turn the green completely black, like so. If it keys out perfectly, you'll have this. And then you can put a background in to your clip. So let's say you have a background already here. You click and hold and drag, and then you can place the background in front of you. That's how you do it. So that way you can get rid of any sort of shadows that will allow your chroma keying not to be keyed out properly. So basically when you have the right lighting and the right conditions, chroma keying is really easy. So you have to make sure that you have a proper green screen, proper lighting, and also the right software to key out everything. So that's my tutorial. If you have any other questions on how to get everything set up or if you're still not confused as to how to get started, leave me a comment below and I will help you get started right away. So filmmakers, I hope this information serves you well. Get fueled for life and happy filming.